Bless my teammates, bless my, teammates. Bless my, coaches. Bless my coaches, bless my family. Bless my family. Bless my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus name pray. Amen. 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 Given the intensity of the MIAA, Fort Hayes thought its two losses on the season sealed its fate of defending the conference crown on senior day. But the Tigers fought through adversity and won out the final five games of the season, which secured their second consecutive MIAA championship with a 58-0 shutout over Northeastern State. The win marked the ninth victory of the season for just the second time in program history, the first being last season when the Tigers shattered the record with 11 wins. That is just one of several records this squad has broken during the regular season. During his senior campaign, quarterback Jacob Mazzara broke the FHSU career records for passing yards and passing touchdowns. That field goal, he'll send one deep. That is caught. Harley Hazlett. This one was a lot harder just because of all the adversity we've been through this year. It's just injuries and losing the games we shouldn't have really lost. And it's just, it's just been crazy. Like, I can't even explain it. It's just, it's been so much adversity this year. And I'm really proud of everybody just sticking together and believing in what we're doing. And uh, you know, here we are. And it's, it's so much sweeter. Kicker and punter Dante Brown set a new FHSU single game record for field goals, accounting for all 15 points on five converted attempts during FHSU's first shutout win in nearly a decade against Central Oklahoma. Another senior to have found success during his last year in the black and gold uniform is linebacker Jose Delgado, who was the senior leader for tackles and hit his 100 tackle mark for the third consecutive season on senior day. I feel like this year we're just going to be more prepared for what we expect. You know, we got to take it to another notch, flip that switch, and just go full steam ahead. The Tigers enter the matchup as the fifth seed, and they take on the number four, UND, in the search of coming away with the program's first postseason win in school history. Coach told us that we had nothing to play for but pride, so he made it seem like it wasn't a possibility, so we just kept fighting, and now it's here. You don't really know what the competition's like, you know, at that level. You know, watching that game last year against Ferris and, and seeing their opponents and who they were playing, you know, we feel like we had a really good chance to, to win that ball game. And, uh, and maybe, you know, just, just taking it down a notch and, and really preparing our kids and getting them ready. Not, not that we didn't do that last year. It's just when our kids watch the film, too, just kind of explaining to them, we don't know what the competition's like in that conference. You know, we know what the MIAA is. We don't know know how those teams play in that conference and we don't know the level of it so uh, you know don't let that fool you because it might, they might not look as good on film uh, or as or as bad on film as you think but uh, you know you just got to take it and, and get yourselves better and prepare yourselves for this football game but uh, you know when I watch film I see a very good football team uh, guys that are very mobile guys that um, you know defensively especially their D-line moves very well linebackers run well secondary covers very good they don't give up a lot of big plays I see an offense that's very productive and, and, and puts a lot of points on the board. So uh, I, mean, I think we're going to go play a very, very good football team, and hopefully our kids see that same thing. From Tiger Media Network, I'm Haley White.